All right, what's going on, everybody? It's me here, and in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how to add a bump effect or a screen pump um, to uh, to your video in Sony Vegas, basically. Um, this will work on Sony Vegas 11 through 14, from what I know. I don't really know about 15. I don't know too much about it. So, um, yeah. So this is gonna be really quick, and I know I have been actually searching for this effect for a long time until I actually found it. And then I did find the tutorial, um, but that tutorial was around 10 minutes long, and I don't really want to make a 10 minute long video um, on such a simple thing. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like only showing you the bare basics uh, and what you need, and uh, let's get straight into this. First, what you want to do is just uh, load up Sony Vegas and uh, open up whatever files you need. So I got this file right here. Um, this is actually from the montage I uploaded, um, I think, yesterday. I don't honestly know when this video is being uploaded, but I think I uploaded this yesterday uh, from what I know. Um, yeah. So like, let's, let's only use this bit of footage. All right. Um, okay. So um, what you want to do, all right, so let's let's first um, get everything lined up, okay? So say, I'm not going to put in the music right now because you guys know what to do, all right? But you saw that moment right there, that was where I hit that person, or at least I attempted to hit that person. So what we're going to do is hit M on our keyboard, and that's going to create a marker there. Uh, so you don't, you could like put your name, uh, put, put, yeah, put any name you want here. Uh, if you want to label it, really, you don't really need to. But uh, if you do move this, then the marker will just still stay there at that moment, uh, at that place. So you do need to like keep it there and maybe create the marker after you've edited everything. Not like everything, but like after you made your jump cuts and everything, you could put the marker. Um, so yeah, now that we have our marker, so say that we wanted to, wanted it to hit right there, right? But actually, I'm going to actually uh, delete it from there and uh, just it's gonna take it from here, okay? because I actually don't want it to be that close to the beginning of the beginning of the um, actual file so uh, it's just a little bit easier to show you guys um, so yep all right now what you want to do is like pretty simple so we'll just play this clip uh, just one time before we actually do anything all right so you saw like there's nothing going on obviously I'm not trying to scam you or anything okay um, so we want to click this right there, like that little thing right there, which will bring up the event pan slash crop settings here. And uh, you want to make sure you have all of these checked on. Right? You want to have show properties, normal edit tool, lock, uh, lock aspect ratio, ratio, I can't talk today, size about center. You want to have all of these on. And uh, the main part that you want to have on is sync cursor. So you want to have that on, you, want, you need to have that on, like you need to have it. If you don't have it on, you pretty much can't do this. Um, all right, so so we're going to zoom it into like the point we really want to. So say we like want to do it like something like that. That looks good, right? And you'll see it created something right there, right? You just want to click on that and click this plus button. You don't really need to, but just to be safe, uh, for safe measures, you should do it. Um, now you want to you wanna click this again, right? And you want to uh, hit the right arrow on your keyboard um, really as, as many times as you want. Like, it's going to move frame by frame. So um, basically, if you want to be a little bit slower, you would move it like like five frames six frames you kind of have to experiment with it and uh, how it would look on your uh, thing but first what you want to do is you want to go backwards just a few frames it's about that and you want to take this out or you can just click restore so i'm going to do that instead all right so you can just do that um now you want to go back to this one and uh let's actually go there back to this okay now i'm going to move it a couple frames forward like something like that and I'm gonna click restore again um, and now um, we should have it but I think it's gonna be actually very very quick um, try to watch this yeah that was that was that was kind of it um, see you can you can that you can like uh, you can make longer just by like um, pulling this apart and stuff that wasn't really that wasn't really all that bad you know like it was it was uh, it was kind of decent but I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter just uh just for so it looks a little bit better um that should be pretty good um i don't really know much about this stuff um i just i just know like a decent amount um yeah so 
you kind of have to experiment with it. It does work though. You um, kind of actually experiment with like the timing and everything. What works for you is uh, just fine. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to now. It will actually be really greatly appreciated. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. I really, wa I really want to achieve that goal by the end of this year, and I really hope we can. Um, hopefully we can, and uh, honestly, it would mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel and leave left a like or, or uh, commented. Um, but if you guys want to see more Sony Vegas tutorials, just leave your comment down in the description in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to respond. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful and safe rest of your day. See you later.